you know, I like to describe to people, sometimes they ask me, should I ask, start with my own website or should I start with my eBay uh, store or my Amazon store? 2022, uh, the opportunity still is beginning with eBay, beginning with Amazon. What I'm trying to do, I have an online store. It's close to nothing uh, through GoDaddy. Uh, but it's, it's a website. You go and you go on there. It gives you an idea of what I do. You got a cart. People can purchase something yes. there. Mm -hmm. uh, now, they haven't purchased anything on there yet. I'm doing all my sales through eBay. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that being said, I'm trying to get away uh, from doing exclusively on eBay and had drive the business to my store to save the fees uh, and the follow-up business. Because what I'm losing right now is when I sell one thing to... Uh, from eBay, that customer has a hard time finding me directly. Again. Well, it is eBay's customer, not yours. And there you go. Same thing with Amazon. That's what they consider. This yeah. is this this is a customer that belongs to Amazon or it belongs to eBay, and they actually don't want you to communicate with that customer. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. So it it is a great opportunity that you've been able to take advantage of, which is, you know, I like to describe to people. Sometimes they ask me, should I ask start with my own website or should I start with my eBay uh, store or my Amazon store? 2022, uh, the opportunity still is beginning with eBay, beginning with Amazon. But once you get the cash flow like you are getting right now, the smart thing to do is to actually build your online presence like you're saying right now because you get to control that. Just with an eBay store, you can't you have anything to pass on to a generation, right? That so you're trying to do your, the thing for yourself. Right. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. It's good. So I'm, there, I'm at that crossroads now where I got to get serious about uh, using... Uh, my online presence to draw business not only for the first time and this is what's happening now just like we said you buy a piece of equipment well uh, that child or that patient is going to need more equipment maybe a different equipment but they need something else right so on eBay I sold them the one they normally don't come back and look for me directly to see my online store what they'll do is they'll put what they need and I may pop up, but then... They make it somebody else's, right? There you go. That's so the way it is. If I have a relationship, if I could build a relationship yeah. with that customer, with that family, with that patient, uh, then obviously whenever they need something... Else, they go to you. They go to me. Yeah. Not only that, now they're telling... It's a small community. Now they're telling the other the other parents whose kids are yeah. you know, in there, hey, if you yeah. need this piece of equipment, this they could... Uh, give it to you, new or used, but basically yep. what I do now is used. Yeah, and also they start trusting you. Yeah. So they know that when they buy another expensive medical device from you, it's probably going to be a good one yes. because they already got some from you. It's nothing like it. You're, 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 speak, you're uh, speaking our words. Uh, that's how we think over here. That's how we operate. So we can help you build it all out. It's all out.